A pulse of current fed to the coil in the detector head produces a magnetic field. The field induces currents in any nearby piece of metal. This current creates a magnetic field in the object, which in turn induces a current in the coil. The current is detected and an audible signal alerts the treasure hunter. The modern mechanical refrigerator works on the principle that a liquid absorbs heat when it turns to a gas. The gas carries away heat during evaporation, leaving a cooled liquid behind. Since heat flows from warmer bodies to colder bodies, a vaporizing liquid cools objects that are in contact with it. Pressurized liquid refrigerant leaves a storage container under high pressure. It flows through a metering device containing a length of narrow tubing where the pressure drops and the liquid vaporizes into gas. As the gas enters the evaporator, it has a lower temperature than it did as a liquid. As the refrigerant passes through the coils of the evaporator, it absorbs heat and cools the inside of it. The low-pressure refrigerant vapor is pumped into the compressor. 
The compressed vapor, now at an elevated temperature, flows at high pressure into the condenser. Here it is air cooled. As heat is transferred out of the refrigerant into the air, the gas returns to a liquid state. Warm air is expelled by the refrigerator. The refrigerant is collected in the storage tank, ready to begin another cycle of refrigeration. A thermostat, connected to a temperature sensor on the cabinet, controls the compressor and maintains a constant temperature inside the refrigerator. What'd you do that for? To stop your hiccups. Thanks. But how does that stop the hiccups? First, you have to understand why we hiccup. We all have a muscle that separates the chest from the stomach and other organs. It's called the diaphragm, and it's shaped like an upside-down saucer. During normal breathing, the muscle tightens and flattens, and then relaxes, again and again. This motion brings air into and out of our lungs. Sounds pretty smooth. It is, but sometimes the diaphragm gets irritated, especially if you eat too much or too fast. Then the diaphragm contracts suddenly. It jerks. Is that what makes the hick sound? The diaphragm contraction causes it but the sound comes from higher up. The jerk of the diaphragm makes you take in air. But as the air tries to get to the lungs, the opening to them slams shut. And the vocal cords that make all our sounds close very suddenly. The vocal cords make the hick sound. Is there anything you can do about it? You can try holding your breath. Or better yet, you can just wait for them to go away. They usually stop after a few minutes on their own. Scaring a person doesn't really work. So there was no reason for you to scare me. 